Alright y'all, it's been a long day, it's been a long week, long whatever. So just got back from hanging out with the family, uh, my family and Kiera's family. I was gonna vlog um, earlier, uh, right after I got my haircut as you can see, I'm all lined up, ready to go for the wedding uh, tomorrow. Uh, but it got really dark and I had to meet Kiera at the nail shop uh, once she was up there or whatever. By myself tonight. <laughs> uh, Kiera, she's uh, staying with her mom for the night as they, you know, go through pre-wedding, you know, bride stuff. Uh, as a groom, I don't get much to do but, you know, show up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, man. About to be married like this time tomorrow i will be officially a freaking husband like that's crazy i've been taking care of for like well dating for maybe think what four no probably like six and a half years and then we spent you no know, majority of this year engaged and we're gonna get married uh next september but we figured, you know, why wait? You know, let's go ahead and just do this. You know, I love you, you love me. We're best friends, like friends should be. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, we just figured like, why, you know, delay the inevitable, you know? I don't love anybody else. She doesn't love anybody else. We love each other, so. Um, we ended, we are, we're gonna have our um, wedding at my parents' house. We got like the, my, my parents' house is, is actually pretty nice. You know, we got a, nice little living room there uh we decorate the fireplace there uh, you guys will see it at some point um but yeah we're gonna get married there tomorrow um unfortunately it's not gonna be a huge wedding well not unfortunately but you know we're not having a huge wedding anymore because again me and kira you know we're, we're both in grad school uh we're both broke <laughs> it is what it is and we figure, you know, why you know, spend so much money on, you know, our marriage or our wedding when we can put that money elsewhere, you know, if you want to get a house or if you want to move somewhere, uh, we could just do that compared to just having this extravagant wedding, which really isn't for, you know, for us, it's for everybody else in our family. You know, we could have easily just went to the courthouse, you know, and just got married then and been married, you know, we could have been married years ago. But we still want to have a ceremony for like our parents, grandparents, siblings. That's what we're doing. But yeah, man, I was just, you know, just get back from my my parents' house. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of just taking it all in. <laughs> like, it's so amazing what, like, love can do, you know, just for people in the world, you know. I guess it's like my inner English major coming out, my inner poet or whatever. But, like, it's, like, legit amazing to see, you know, the power of love, you know, unified to people from the opposite sides of the, of the spectrum you know what i'm saying like my family is so different from kiera's family but the fact that two people love each other you know are able to like weave those families together that's amazing to me like that's that's dope that's crazy <laughs> and it's such different dynamics but at the same time it all goes back to you know loving one another and i really challenge everybody to like go out there and not necessarily like just advocate for finding someone you love, but at least love something, love someone. You know, love is, is so powerful and we all need love. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, you know, the type of person to say, you know, oh, you can only, you know, if you're a guy, only talk to girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care, heterosexual, homosexual, if you love someone, like you love someone. Like, don't ever, tell, don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't love a particular someone. You know, if you love someone, then this is what you love. You can't change what you love, you know? And for me, you know, I love Kiera so much and I'm getting emotional right now. <laughs> but like, I like legit do. And I'm like getting a lump in my throat thinking about it, you know. I really challenge you to find someone that, <laughs> find someone that makes a lump in your throat when you think about them. And like right now, I feel like so stirred up emotionally. Like right now, I miss her because she's over her mom's house getting ready and just can't believe I'm about to marry her. <laughs> like I'm about to give my last name to someone. I'm about to like establish a foundation with someone. You know, I'm about to 
create my own my own root or my own you know segment of a family tree you know at some point i'm gonna create life with kiera like that's stuff is powerful man like love is extremely powerful and i and and during this time period i guess it really amplified you know when we when we like rooted our relationship with christ and you know we've been going to church you know ever since like together ever since uh, sometime in September of this year and we've been we haven't missed a Sunday you know at all we haven't missed a service and we're getting more involved with church and it's, it's just amazing you know actually this this weekend will probably will will be the first time we've missed a service you know and you know we told our right told people at church that we'll you know be back you know, the week afterwards because we're going on our honeymoon but you know I, I really feel like our relationship has strengthened through our religious revival um, especially with each other because she's never been to church you know consistently consistently like that I have but I've never been you know actively involved with a church and you know actually know people and speak to people while I'm at church and I really feel like that's been beneficial for both of us and has allowed us to you know open our minds and our hearts to what the world has to offer for us you know it's just crazy man I'm about to get freaking married, y'all. That's crazy. Like, it's a huge like butterfly effect. Like, who would have thought that like, the girl who sat in my first period class my junior year in high school, who sat in front of me, will become my freaking wife? Like, that is crazy, man. <laughs> that is wow. It's crazy, man. Ah. <laughs> man. <laughs> Y'all gonna excuse me, man. I just I rarely get emotional, but man, when you just take it all in, it's like a lot. <laughs> it really is a lot. <laughs> It's like I get excited thinking about. I'm sorry, I'm about to eat some uh some taquitos, cause I haven't ate all day, so <laughs> not out of nervousness, but you know, just it's my my physically I've been everywhere, so you know, it took me three hours to get my hair cut because. One guy was in the chair for like an hour and a half. That's a, com a tangent, you know. I'm getting off topic, but it's crazy, man. Like seriously, like who, who would have thought the person or the you know, the girl who sat in front of me in my criminal justice class <laughs> would have been my wife, you know? Like who's to say if I didn't put forth to the effort, you know, when we broke up to like get back with her, you know, on December 10th, 2009, you know, stuff could be completely different right now, you know, it's crazy, man. I know Kira, she, she always gets on me because and save our, you know, love notes. Um, I'm pretty sure my mom probably threw them away. Uh, Cause my mom threw away m most of my love notes, but then again, you know, I was <laughs> I had notes in my my sock drawer, my underwear drawer, so they probably got thrown away. Nothing like written down could express how much I love this girl. Like I'm like fully committed to to being with her. Like I can't see myself with anybody else. Like it's impossible. Like. <laughs> gonna be freaking married man <laughs> like it's amazing <sighs> oh boy all right y'all well the next time i get on camera well hopefully well i assume i don't know if i'll get on camera tomorrow morning or whatever but the next time i get on camera uh or be in front of a camera i'll be a married man uh it'll be officially 
Marcus and Kiara Savage. So Savage Diaries will be 100% Savage. <laughs> I know Kiara, she got, she was like playing, you know, playfully being upset about losing her last name because it's a, it's a unique last name, but she finna be a savage today. She's gonna learn today. Shoot, had to commit seven years of this, you know. Girl, you're gonna be a savage. <laughs> For real. If you haven't already, y'all, please subscribe to our channel. You know, like the video, comment, share, uh, subscribe if you can. Join the team. Of course, we're getting married, but, but we're, it doesn't end right here. You know, marriage is just the first step. You know, it's, it's really the foundation of what we're trying to build um, as a team, as a unit. You know, the team being me and Kiara, but, you know, we need teammates along the road to help us out and to help, to help you guys out. You know, iron sharpens iron. That's what we're trying to do. So if you can, it'll be very helpful to just network this, these videos, uh, this channel, everything out. And we really want to connect with other people, other couples around the world, just to get feedback and just to get, you know, just to share ideas about what works, what doesn't work, everything. It's all about innovation. That's the best way that anybody can grow, whether it's a friendship, relationship, business, you know, anything. Please like, like the video, comment, subscribe, share, join the team. All right, I will see y'all tomorrow. I'm about to throw down these taquitos. I don't know how I don't know how many I'm gonna have, but I'm about to go ham because I haven't ate all day. I'm tired, stomach growling right now as we speak. So I'll holla at y'all. Peace. All right, what's up, y'all? Today is wedding day, and I still have not packed for our honeymoon, which is tomorrow. If <laughs> we're leaving tomorrow to go to uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, yeah. So I'm excited about today. Um, very anxious right now. Um, like. I fell asleep in my shoes, man. Like, have you ever been so tired that you fell asleep in your shoes? I remember when I was in undergrad, <laughs> and all my Greeks know how this go, but I fell asleep in my bed at my apartment on campus in my my freaking stepping boots. Like, I was knocked out, and I did that many times. So, but yeah, uh, finna eat something because I'm starving, and then. Be heading to my parents' house, then I'm gonna get hitched. I will see y'all later. I'm trying, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to make sure I look at the uh, street sound. I don't wanna get into a car accident right Ride after we have married. It's official, y'all, like a ref with a whistle, y'all. We officially married in this giant man. Savage Diaries for real, bruh. I'm done being a man. Rolling in the Honda. <laughs> 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 Ain't no limo, B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we saving all our money for the honeymoon. Draw in the future. In the future. All right. So. Y'all, she was looking so fine walking down the <laughs> Oh my aisle. gosh. I was about to hop on her. <laughs> walking down the aisle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, woo, girl. You standing me like that? <laughs> Don't pay attention to you. <laughs> I just, I still can't believe we're married. <laughs> he just looks so handsome. I felt so bad because all of my lipstick was getting on him. Like, every time I kissed him, he just Man. Like, like lipstick. Like I got lipstick like on his um on my suit right here. Suit. I got lipstick on my dress. How to get on your dress? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know what to say. I'm like speechless right now. <laughs> I think I said everything I had to say on the video yesterday. I got touched for a minute because I was just talking and then just like Alright, so we just got married and now we dress like bombs now. <laughs> Check me out, check me just out. Just like bombs now. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. We got married almost three hours ago. And we already dressed like bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you my dog, man. <laughs> yeah, we, look, our house is like our place and then we trying yeah. to get it together before we leave. So we got to like run. We got to move quick. Yeah, we got to go to all our parents' house to get our stuff. Cause like my stuff is like spread all over the place. And I'm like, if we need to go to the store and get some stuff. Yeah. Um. And I'm not taking this makeup off because I paid $66, so I'm going to wear it until it's time for me to go to bed. 
<laughs> Although it don't match. I feel like I was supposed to have on a dress. Look. Heck no, nah, we're trying to uh, get back here. Okay, look. We going back. I'm going to rack up on the food. Now, Auntie made us some uh, punch. We're going to go get it. <laughs> like some black people. Putting the chicken. <laughs> We can go get them plates. Hey, this is some, this is some legit black folks. We already had the game. No, this is <laughs> this is frugal frugality. Is that a word? Yes. Frugality. At okay. Alright, you All right, y'all. We'll see y'all on the way to Gatlinburg. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. She's savage. She's savage. She's savage, eh? She's savage, eh?